So here are the two butterfly houses. And I'm gonna paint those and then like I said, I'll put them up higher for the butterflies. Hi guys, I'm, today I'm gonna show you how I painted my butterfly uh, houses. Um, I already did this one over here different colors and what I used was just indoor outdoor uh, spray paint. I chose um, four colors that we had last year, just two different colors, pinks, um, a blue and a purple. And I use spray of rubbing alcohol to have the colors run so it's not just completely one color. So what I'm gonna do first is spray the front of this one down. You don't have to get it all wet, but you just wet it. And then you just do whatever colors you want. You can you, um, use more rubbing alcohol if you want and you will see it run once it gets really wet. So this is what it's looking like, like that. So I'm just going to try this here again. We'll spray a little bit more. And do a magenta color here. You can see how it's kind of spotty up there. That's from the rubbing alcohol. So you don't have to cover the whole thing if you don't want. Okay, let's try this side here. I'm just gonna spray a little bit. You can see, let me try and get a little bit of, they're really wet so you can see how the color runs down. I don't know if you can see it very well running down or not. I'll finish it and then I'll show you the finished project. Okay, so that's the finished project with the rubbing alcohol and the paint. You can put as much rubbing alcohol on it as you want for the paint to run. You can do stripes like I did or you can just spray in one spot. You can do it really quick. I really like the back here. But there's that one. I think I kind of like my first one that I did a little better. But it also depends on, like, I think the grain of the wood and how it runs down when you're painting it. But it's a pretty simple and it's nice, bright colors for the butterflies. And so I'll let these dry and then another day I will just clear coat them. But I thought it would be just a fun little project. Now the reason why I use rubbing alcohol is so it doesn't wet, really wet the, the wood. It evaporates and it's real easy to use. Um, 
and also you want to make sure that you keep your butterfly house or whatever it is that you're working on at an angle that way everything can run down if you want it a different pattern you can use this technique on anything that you build um, la uh, well probably a couple years ago uh, my husband made cornhole boards and we used this technique on the cornhole board one of them for my daughter and it really turned out pretty neat looking so you could use this technique with a lot of different projects that around the house that you do well I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please hit like subscribe and share and I will see you guys again next time.